What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to The Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell, of course, the founder of the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very, very excited today to be joined in my virtual Zoom studio with a very, very cool guest. Her name is Trish Causey. Trish, how are you? I am fabulous. How are you? It's so awesome to have you on here. Let me give you guys her bio real quick. She is going to blow minds on this show today. She is an artist alchemist, a sacred sex shaman, a a a a tantrika with a musical theater background as a singer, composer, freelance writer, and Broadway journalist. She has been a sexuality writer and coach since 2011. She has a much longer bio than that, but for the purposes of let's getting into the meat and potatoes of this topic, she's very accomplished. Uh, She has a very magnanimous personality, which I can already tell digitally because we just met. And she said to me, oh, I don't wear masks. And I was like, Trish, you and me are heaven sent. We are of the absolute same vibrational level. So it's an honor to have you on the show today. As I always do before we get into the meat and potatoes, though, real quick, let me just ask you, like, how did you get on the Jay Campbell podcast? Well, you know, I think that my work is very important and needs to be seen by lots of people and heard by lots of people. So I did the ballsy thing that is normal to me. And I cold called you and I said, hey, here's a pitch. You need to have me on your show. And that, but a bing, but a boom, it was done. Because you you're go. fabulous and smart like that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And you just literally manifested that even if that wasn't the case, but it is the case. So you're right. Okay. So yes, it's an honor to have you here. We have a lot of stuff to cover. We are obviously yes. in a as you and I defined off air, a third dimensional unravelment. And the people that are attached to that, the attachment, the vibration of the lower dimensions are going to stay. And the people like you and I, and people that watch the show, uh, and obviously the people that you work with are going to somewhat, you know, raise their state of conscious, their state of being into a fifth dimensional experience. Now we're going to talk about that obviously amongst Uh, the various topics, but, you know, let me, let me just get your background right now on what you see is actually happening on the, on this earth right now. What's happening on this earth is the great awakening that we have wanted, needed, and talked about for 12,000 years. Of course, you and I were not in this incarnation back then, but this has been (laughs) needed for a long fucking time. Can I say that here? (laughs) Can I, can I use my French here? <laughs> Paul, you can swear the, the J. Campbell podcast has no censorship. Continue. Good, 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 good. So I, I live by the beach. So a sailor's mouth is kind of like required. Beautiful. So um, <laughs> what's happening is that the we have been working so hard over our many lifetimes to raise the consciousness of humanity 
And now it has been, it's do or die for earth quite literally. Right. And so those of us who are light walkers and light workers, and I consider myself a shadow worker and a shadow healer because I Beautiful. get in and deep dive and help you heal your shit once and for all. Um, but it's just time. And so what's happening is that with this great awakening, we have the 3D perspective and the 5D and above perspective. And that chasm between the two is getting wider and wider and wider. And as we go on with the pandemic or scamdemic, excuse me, either one of those, um, then, you, <laughs> then what's happening is that people who are really entrenched in fear are staying in the fear mode. And those uh, who are able to transcend the uncomfortableness of the awakening and are opening their minds and hearts more right. specifically right. to all of this, they're the ones who are like, okay, well, this is stupid. I don't believe in this. Uh, what is more? And they're starting to walk the bridge, which is 4D. And they will, if they keep making these choices toward higher consciousness, unconditional love, and releasing all of the fear programming from all of these asshole institutions, right. religion, politics, oh. they will get to 5D. Yeah. Very, very beautifully said. I want to ask you, you know, obviously I'm like you, I mean, all of us, we all, that, and that's honestly how you found me. The real answer is that the light workers, the children of the light, as I call them, we're all gravitating towards each other and it's not yeah. coincidental. It's the energy and frequency of the universe that we're finding each other. But, you know, obviously I'm a big student of Dr. David Hawkins and I always have his map of consciousness on the wall. And you talked about it, you know, these people that are just, you know, um, traumatized the type of people that you heal yeah. um the, you know they're vibrating in victimhood as i call it right and apathy 100 percent yeah right. they're, they're 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 you know full of apathy and shame i mean they literally attempted to vote you know and obviously a lot less of them actually voted as we know right but like they attempted to vote a person into office who ran a campaign on victimhood and shame like the entire left and again i'm not a political person but it's clearly a good versus evil battle right now, right? As you said, and it's like they're attempting to, you know, aggregate the people who are in shame and traumatized to all band together. It's the crabs in a bucket element. Can you talk a little bit about that? Like, why are there so many people right now so stuck, well, stuck on stupid, but in shame, right? Like in shame and so humiliated that they're in shame, that they would rather, instead of face their fears and face that issue and, and integrate that trauma, they would rather just bring everybody else in again, the whole crabs in a bucket analogy. Why is that right now, Trish? Well, there are a couple of different answers to that. And one of them you may not like, so I'll start with that one. Sure. The first answer is, is that when our souls incarnate here into the physical realm, which is the realm of illusion, Absolutely. our souls incarnate with certain experiences they want to experience sure. and if they've had pre previous lives where everything was great and wonderful which i find very hard to believe if you've actually if you've studied uh world history um but who knows you know they may have always been the leaders the so they chose the shame to experience it right got it they chose it to experience the polarity and duality exactly. and polarity are, polarity are not the same thing people sure. use those words interchangeably but they are different but sure. anyway so what happens is that number one, some souls incarnate to experience that and they will only ever experience that until the soul decides to make a change. Now that you and the physical always have free will. So the souls that incarnated to have an experience of awakening and remembering on what, to whatever degree, um, then the, that is going to filter into the minds and hearts of people, whether they, however, however much they want to stay in the 3D, they will not be able to because there is a soul song for them to awaken. And these are the people who maybe were always atheists, now they're agnostic, you right. know, or if I'm agnostic, then they're spiritual, not religious. Like it's, it's, in, it's in increments. And for so many people, this is the first increment to their full awakening. So we all have freedom of will. So that means that we can either choose this path of unconditional love, tolerance, harmony, no war, all that, or we can choose to stick our head in the sand and say, no, you know what? I was, I, this, and this is how we say it in the South. It's like, well, this is how I was raised. So this is what I'm going to do. Like, well, you know, that worked when you were four. Are you over 18? You can make some fucking decisions for yourself. You can evolve, now. Like bro. I know, exactly, right? 
it's so it's it's like you are actually able to make decisions for yourself that are outside of this matrix but some people even though they want to and they feel that soul song to really really step into their free will and to step into being the master of matter which is why we're here in the physical right but they get scared because of the power of the matrix in the past either they will lose their job their spouse will leave them they can lose custody of their children they will you know they'll be shunned i mean yeah. i'm a lifelong pagan witch and i'm in mississippi so you can know right off the bat I am not always welcome <laughs> where I go. You're a Gnostic witch. Uh -huh. You're a Gnostic witch. Let's clear that up. <laughs> yes, and a shaman and a tantric. So I'm a whole lot of things. And I do musical theater. And that right there is a big... <laughs> oh, she's so like, I, I feel your energy. Like, we are such kindred spirits. Like, we have definitely been around each other in past lives. Like, I already know. Like, I'm listening to you. And I'm like, I got all these, like, energies are buzzing Click, 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 click. <laughs> yeah, they're buzzing like really hardcore. But I wanted to go back to something that you just said because um, that is very important and, and understanding that the difference between duality and polarity. And I don't think yes. a lot of people really define it in the way that it could be defined. So have at it. <laughs> well, this is one of the things that I teach, especially in my tantric fire magic modality, which is duality is dualism. There is this, there is that, and that's it. Right. There is nothing else. Right. So it's good, bad, right, wrong, us, them, blah, blah. Right. right. So polarity is this over here and that over there, but there is a bridge that connects the two. There is right. a spectrum of those qualities that connect those two together. And then you get to choose where. Are you in the center? Are you a moderate? Are you in the fulcrum between the extremes? Right. Or do you like the extremes? Do you like maybe three quarter or one quarter or whatever, you know? So duality is this or that. Polarity is I'm choosing this over here, but I can see how I can choose anything along the spectrum to the other side of the other extreme. Right. So beautiful. Um, and and, and uh, again, you know, Dr. Hawkins talks about non-dualism and um, in a non, non dimensional duality. And essentially, again, that there's a bridge and that there is the ability to transcend the opposite points on the spectrum. And, you know, again, as I said to you, the Gnostics or the Hermetics, you know, they always talked about the ever swinging pendulum, that there was, that there was no division in this third dimension of anything. It's just a matter of like timing and causality, right? So eventually the dark half gets to the light half and the light half swings back to the dark half. So it's always, like you said, um, a polarity of energies. But do you think, and again, I'm, by the way, I could talk to you about so many different things. If we don't talk about <laughs> like the things that you're on my show about, that's cool. I'll bring you back. So just don't, don't worry. Cause like you're obviously very advanced consciously um, and, and as a soul. And I say that very humbly to you. Um, do you yeah, see, do you, do you, but do you see right now this divide, you know, because let's be honest, right? This is not a, just a USA thing right now. The whole world is locked down by these demonic beings, these elites, whatever you want to call them right? You know, those who would hold us back, let's define them as that, right? And, and right now the United States is like sitting perilously, you know, on that side of this, of, of, you, you called it the fulcrum, like the fulcrum being if Biden gets in, we're all going to be locked down. The whole world probably is the light of the world and freedom and uh, whatever you want to call it, democracy, whatever it is, it's, you know, constitutional republic, but it seems like we're not going to have the freedom of choice that we have all somewhat as American citizens enjoyed the last couple hundred years. Do you see that as a good versus evil battle right now, or is it still a more of a, um, a paradigm of in a sense, a, a paradigm where there's just, it's a little of both on both sides, but that you have to get balanced back to the middle and again, ride the fulcrum. Well, I'm a Libra, so I can always see both sides of anything and find the balance in that. Um, so you just use some key words for me personally. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> but what I see is that, first of all, as we are all, we all originate from source energy. So that means there is light, even in the worst darkness. And according to uh, Ra and the law of one, you sure, know, some of the most evil people were Genghis Khan and Rasputin, right? 
And sure. so they were like 95% straight up non-virtuous, what we would call evil. But at that core is still light. So one yeah. of the reasons why we are having this deep swing, I feel, into the darkness, into the non-virtuous side of things is because we are, as we are awakening, we are awakening to our past lives. We are awakening to our concurrent parallel realities that are maybe in darker places, shall right. we say. And so what we're experiencing is all of this coming up to be healed and, and loved. And that is how you truly heal. It's not through the judgment of this is good or this is bad or this is good and evil because that is duality and judgment. Sure. It's that, that this is an experience. And does, how does this experience make me feel? Does it make me feel good? Well, I want more of that. So mm -hmm. I'm going to make a conscious free will choice to experience more of that. How does this make me feel? I don't know, that doesn't make me feel good, but this is what I've always been taught. And I've been taught to obey authority. And I've been taught that the military industrial complex is how we should maintain our freedom, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, and just let me say, I appreciate anyone who feels called to service. You know, sure, there are sure, plenty sure. of light workers within the military. Oh, yeah, so tons. don't take that the wrong way. Tons. But it's just that we, what we're doing as we are remembering is that this little, the, lockdown that we have been on already throughout our lives here in the 3D, that's just being burst open. Right. And so the lockdown that we see in the macrocosm is actually just a reflection of the lockdown we've, they've tried to put on us our entire lives anyway. So we're saying, fuck you and fuck that and fuck the horse you came in on because we are here to do a job and you, evil shit, you're not part of it. So, so I'm going to send you lots of love and heal you and get out of my life. So beautifully stated, I want to just stay there. Like I said, we might not even talk about your amazing topics. Oh, please. And if that's the, and if that's the <laughs> case, it. if that's the case, I'll bring you back on. And I'm I just kidding. It. I will get, I will get you there. Um, no, you're an advanced soul. And I, whenever I'm around advanced soul, I uh, got to penetrate the advanced soul's awareness because again, we're sharing it collectively into the ether. And the ultimate yeah. goal is to raise the vibration of the collective. So what you're basically saying, if I can wrap it up in a bow, is... This is the collective dark night of the soul for humanity right now. And it's, like you said, bursting open in so many different ways. But as devil's advocate, and, and, and clearly I agree with you, but to play devil's advocate, right. um, what happens if, and I'll just use the T word for Trump and the B word for Biden, what happens if Trump it's proven that it was fraud and the American public bought, voted Trump into office. Like what happens to this country and to the world if all of the people who, again, are not really where they need to be vibrationally decide that they want to fight or they want to revolt or they want to have anarchy or tyranny or chaos or whatever nonsense that we've witnessed like this year. Like what do you think happens? Do we still overcome that? Because that's just part of the awakening as you explained it. I think number one, being a Libra, love will always win. Right. Uh, I, I always think that that love will always win. And we did not incarnate at this time with our internal warrior templates that we have, you and right. I, obviously. Sure. Um, <laughs> we did not incarnate at this time with all of our knowledge that we have across our experiences lifetimes to, to just be, have more of the same this lifetime. Right. We have learned our lessons. This is why... So many of us experience physical abuse, sexual abuse, sure. mental, emotional, psychological abuse is because they knew when we were born. I, I swear that my mother knew something was different about me. And she and I had past life, big trauma. I mean, she's put me to death as a witch many times. Anyway, but I think that they knew that we were born, that we were different. And that's why all of these abuses have been stacked upon us in order to keep us down, to keep us questioning ourselves, not question them, but to question ourselves in favor of believing whatever the hell they say, and that this is what you should do, blah, blah, blah. And you know, like somebody asked me, well, are you a law-abiding citizen when I ran for Congress in 2014? Wow. That, that's not in my bio, but I did it. That's um, awesome. But, <laughs> but, um, but they asked me, are you a law-abiding law citizen? And I said, I obey the laws that I agree with. Exactly. They didn't like that answer as a candidate. <laughs> right. But it's just like some of this shit is just straight up wrong. And so I could not enforce that when there's just this 
overwhelming knowing that I am here for a specific job. I became an activist when I was 13. Right, that's awesome. I mean, so there, there's just something in us that knows we're different and we're here to make the change. And from that perspective, I know we're going to win, although winning again is duality because you have win and lose, right? Right. Winning for us is about doing everything we can in this lifetime. And this is not going to get done by the time we croak, right? right that right. this is an ever unfolding process. Like your crown is an ever unfolding lotus of enlightenment and awakening. Right. This, we want this to be done by next year. <laughs> it's yeah, not yeah, going yeah. to be. No, I, and by the way, I'm with you 100%. Winning would be defined as light right? More light yeah. exposing into the universe. The set, you know, cause I call it the energy of the sacred spiritual sun or the central spiritual sun is now washing over this planet. Right. And those yeah. of us at our level of awareness. And again, now I don't say that as, you know, um, arrogant or conceited. I say that as vibrationally, we have love in our hearts. We have an open, pure heart. We can discern truth because we have an open, pure heart. By the way, you said the word knowing, which is what I love. I'm always explaining that to people that I mentor and that I work with and stuff that once you open your heart as much as you can, you do all the inner work through contemplation and meditation and spiritual grounding in nature and all those things, right? Like you attain a level of awareness that can't be explained to the rational left brain thinking intellectual mind, right? So you even said it, but it really is just an opening of our hearts collectively so that we let the light in and light is love and love is light. And, it's, and it's, that's the true knowing that you cannot knowing. know this from the mind of the ego. I'm just reiterating. Exactly. I interrupted you to. Just no, 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 no. It's, it's beautiful. Like, yeah, continue, we're there. continue. We're continue. there. <laughs> where we are there is that this knowing is something that, and this is why in my programs, I encourage you to get into your body because your body has a wisdom. Your, your body is your physical avatar. It is your physical vehicle, your Merkaba for this lifetime here in the physical Get out of your head, get into your body. And a part of that is getting into your heart. Because when you get into your body, let's say sexual, sexual healing, and I am going to tie this back into what you said, is that the root chakra is not your enemy. So no. when you're living from fear and when you're having this, how am I going to make ends meet thing, there are, there, there are ways to heal that to where you feel so safe and so protected. And then when you raise that up through the chakra system and you have this knowing an, an unconditional love in your heart and you realize that even the feeling of safety and protection is rooted in fear. Survival programming, right? Survival programming. I am now safe and, and, and I need to protect myself. I'm going to put my protective shield up. That's rooted in fear too. So even for the spiritual awake people, if you can, you know, just, you know, just, I emanate light from me, golden, sparkly light all around yeah. me in all directions. I am, I am in my bubble of light rather than saying, oh, I'm going to put up protection. There's so much in our verbiage that is rooted in the fear matrices and we don't level because the matrix is not a matrix. It right. is this matrix and this matrix and this matrix and this and yeah. here and there and all around. And it's within the body. That's what a lot of this purging, the ascension symptoms that people have. It's where we're, we're literally purging the shit right. out of our physical system and our energetic system. Yeah, no, it's yeah. absolutely true. It's all fields. It's fields of energy. It's funny. Okay. So we are going to talk about your stuff because I'm going to say right into <laughs> it. So, so, and, and again, it's, it's, I'm, I'm very honored and humbled that I have you on my show. Right. Cause I would say, I did not know you from Adam other than I read your bio and I was like this, I want this chick on my show. She's dialed in. And again, I, again, remember I told you in like that email, I'm like, it's perfect because like you talk about the things that I want to talk about and I'm moving away from like the Jay Campbell ego guy, you know, on the planet and how I establish myself to, you know, the guy who's all about energy and frequency and love and light and all those things anyway. So it's like, it's, it's an honor. And again, like I said, we're radiating ourselves, meaning our higher selves to towards each other. And it's like an attract, it's an attractor pattern, right? So it's an attractor beam where you come into my life, I come into your life. And then we share this amazing resonant symphony, which is what's coming out right now. But the tantric fire magic, okay, this is one of your bullet points, like love, sex and money alchemy. What does that mean to someone who is not where you and I are right now in a way? So explain it in a way that somebody who has no idea what that means would understand. Well, most people want two things. So they want to know about two things when they come, say, for um, a reading or something, is they want to know about relationships and love. They want to know about money. How do I make more money? Right. And for people who are still stuck down in the 3D, which 
isn't correct. I shouldn't say that because all of these dimensions are actually overlaid simultaneously. Yeah. You just right. choose which one you want to live in. Right. Um, but for the people who believe in the time space continuum of linear living and the linear <laughs> perspective of things, they, they think, okay, I want this. I don't have that. So how do I get that? And they are not from, they don't operate from the quantum of instant manifestation, right? They're not there yet. That's okay. Right. I wasn't either when I was, you know, little, whatever. So let's just like go through this love, sex, and money are things that we want here in the physical but from an energetic perspective they all say the same they're all in the same energy frequency right and what i was talking about a second ago about the words we use so i'm right. a singer i'm a speaker obviously i'm a composer music it's very important to me and that's because of the healing power of sound and the hidden frequencies and the healing frequencies that are in sound and when you understand things from that kind of vibrational uh, perspective, then you can start to see how love is a frequency. Money is a frequency. Why do you think we call money currency? Is because it is a current. And when you can tap into the fact that money is a, an energetic current, love is an energetic current, great sex is an energetic current, then you can start to see how you can be balanced in all three of those. Some people have a great relationship and they're poor as fuck. And then other people, they spend their entire lives trying to make it and climb the corporate ladder and have all of the physical manifestations, all of the symbols of success that the physical matrix says is important for you to be successful. And yet they have no love in their life because they right. sacrifice that. And the sex that they have is one night, it's hookups, it's prostitutes, whatever, not judging, that's fine. I, I had to heal my own prostitute archetype recently. <laughs> it's a doozy, let me tell you. Um, you know, but there's no, most people don't have the balance because they don't understand it from the 3D perspective, the right. way I can teach it from the 5D perspective, it's all freaking energy. And when you can align with one, then you can align with the other two easily. By the way, um, do you do couples together or just one at a time? Absolutely. Now, depending on what the, um, I don't want to say issue. I haven't learned a new word for issue. <laughs> But depending on what the topic is. Listen, honey, we all got issues. But one of my, what Rex Bear of the Leak Project always used to say, this is his famous statement. He goes, bills and issues, we all got them. We all got them. So depending on what the topic is, what they're coming to me for, um, we always start with one uh, together. But, um, but then I will, I definitely have to speak to them individually because each person has their own history, personal history, sexual history, trauma history, right. injury history. And so you have to kind of get to the nuts and bolts of that individually, then bring them back together. So yes, I do do couples as well. So I've said this before and I'll say this again, and I'm going to literally massively promote you um, oh. because I've had, I mean, listen, I've had people that do past life regressions and um, you know, hip, deep, deep uh, learning hypnosis where you, you know, past life and stuff like that. And, I haven't spoken to anyone that has your, like, I mean, you're on it. And obviously you're an orator, so you really can communicate your thoughts effectively, as can I. And I think, again, light beings like us, uh, you know, this is one of our gifts. But um, I'm going to do this. Like, mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like Monica, <laughs> my wife and I, my wife is, I'm very lucky, very blessed. My wife is also very sp spiritually in tuned and attuned. So we can do this together. Um, and I, I'm definitely going to book a session with you 100%. Um, you know, like my biggest issues, you know, to, to share um, is, has been money and not because I'm like a, 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 a you know, a magnificent manifester, a, ma a, a mega manifester, because I've always been able to make money easily. It's like, you know, laugh doesn't matter. It comes easy. But as I became more spiritually aware and more advanced in my thinking, it was always about like, I don't want to fall into the trap of the love of money. Right. Because like I can see myself as like the CEO, like you talked about, who 10 million and 20 million and 50 million and 100 million. And then, and then it's like, what the fuck? You know, that doesn't mean anything. So I think I've had this like aversion to having fuck you money. But like one of my spiritual mentors was literally like saying, dude, what if you looked at it as the fuck you money, you're going to do so much for the planet, right? So as soon as I adopted that mindset, of thinking about it in that capacity, like everything has changed for me. And it's only been in the last two years, but I mean, like I have all these things that I'm attached to right now that actually potentially do lead to fuck you money, but I've never wavered from my desire to serve. And it's all exactly. about like 
I am going to give this back to the ether in ways that will manifest the golden age. My sign on the golden age is too high on the screen now. You can't see it. I'm going to get the new iMac that has the 1080i camera so everybody can see my backdrop because this is all Peru, by the way. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with U.S. Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. What you do is insanely important. And why it's so important is because right now, as you said, this massive pain trauma that so many people are experiencing and holding on to right now it's not my especially fault especially men especially oh men god. and most of my it's clients not are my men. Fault. oh my god that are pathetic <laughs> it's not my fault yes like literally this can solve the whole world i mean i've said this on my show and my wife and i talk about this all the time trish we say like if we could just collectively integrate the majority of the world's trauma right now with people like yourself everything would shift it would be like, like that. It'd be like abracadabra. Exactly. And, and what, what happens with the trauma is that you have this, whether you are officially diagnosed or, or not, you have this disassociative experience, yeah. this disassociative experience from your body, from yourself. As you get older, you think that was a whole other person. And I right. don't want to be that person. That person was stupid. That person was gullible. That person was weak. Why didn't I fight? Blah, right. blah, blah. And as we talk more about sexual trauma and healing those wounds, um, mm -hmm. I do hope more men will step up. I know that's not what you were talking about. No, but it's but good. What, it's very important. What, you're, what you actually are describing, what you were talking about yourself and what you said earlier about moving away from the, the J. Campbell ego kind of thing, which I think is beautiful that you could even express that, is that you are, you are modeling to your viewers and to humanity this awakening and this shift within the divine masculine. Right. I mean, I would never mistake you for a divine feminine, but it just in talking to you, I can tell that you are starting to integrate your divine feminine within. Oh, totally. To Listen, all my you mentors are females. All my mentors are females. Uh, let me just give you a quick story and you're going to read me. But so when I went to Peru with my wife and our sales director, his wife uh, for our real estate team in July of last year, Trish, it transformed me, altered me molecularly. Like I was on the plane and I told my wife and they were sitting next to me, we we're all together. And I said, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm changing everything. They're looking at me like I'm insane. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, I'm not going to be Jay Campbell, the author and the TRT guy and the hormone optimization guy and guru. I'm going to be Jay Campbell, the consciousness guy. Right. And at that time I was like, I'm going to call myself the spiritual biohacker. And, you know, I came back and my social media companies, and all my people were like thinking I'm fucking nuts. Right. Like I definitely jumped the shark dude, what are you doing? You got the number one sign in the whole world for testosterone optimization therapy. Are you insane? I'm like, no, you guys don't get it. I don't give a shit. Like I have completely molecularly shifted. It's now about raising the vibration of humanity and I don't give a shit. I'm going to do it until it happens because that's all that matters. Right. And so here we are a year later, literally a year later. And now I'm talking to amazing people like you. And I would not be here speaking to you if I did not decide on that plane that the energy of the sacred valley of Peru shift, like I said, it shifted me molecularly. And here I am now having this amazing conversation. So believe me, it is a part of me to embrace the divine feminine and to really connect with that energy. Cause yeah, I mean, I was like a macho, you know, alpha male, you know, type dude. And it's like, no dude, like I'm vulnerable. I'm sensitive. I can explain these things to my audience. And if my audience says, dude, what happened? I'll be like, fuck you. That's what happened. Peace, unsubscribe, right? But it's been the opposite. And again, I think it's because I've become more vulnerable and I've showed this side of me. I had people attacking me, Trish, initially, like, dude, what happened? 
and I'm like, I, I don't respond. I don't, I don't, I mean, I used to be like, fuck you, but I've evolved to the point where I just delete your message or I don't acknowledge it. Right. If it's not productive and positive, it doesn't offer anything to the ether anyway. So, Hey, you be you and I'll be me. But like, it's been the opposite. So again, that's why I'm talking to you today. Cause I vibrated you and you vibrated me into our existence to have this conversation. Yes, and what I love about all of that is that you are exhibiting the dark night of the soul that the divine masculine goes through. It is not easy. It is not pretty, for damn sure. And the masculine has to be willing to lose everything, everything, yeah. everything in order to ascend. Right. Because what he's actually losing, and hopefully he'll see this along the way, is he's losing the ego. He's losing the competitive nature that is bad. I mean, yeah. when, it's, when it's do whatever you have to do, when it's no pain, no gain, when it's that kind of mentality, that's not masculinity, that's toxic masculinity. And that is the entrainment of patriarchy. And patriarchy right. has fucked men as well as women. Yeah. See, this is why... You know, um, my, my even my familiar has a male dominant energy, right? Oh yeah, you so, have very strong masculine energy. <laughs> yeah, I know, and, and I get told by women That's I good, need to have though. more female friends. I'm like, but I know what I'm here to do, and yeah, exactly. the best way I can help women is by helping men because Absolutely. men go home to their women, straight right. guys, bisexual. You know what I mean? Of course. You know. <laughs> No, to that, no, 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 but that's I absolutely true. There's yeah, a lot of truth. Hold on. There's a lot of truth to what you just said, though, because really condition, you know, again, through source frequency, men and women as divine masculine, divine feminine absolutely do have specific roles. And this yeah. transmogrification and transhumanism of by, you know, who those who would hold us back and whatever their demonic friends and forces have attempted to separate that reality. And so women are confused. Men are confused. I mean, it's crazy, right? But at the end of the day, there is a very core spiritual component of what men do and what women do. And let's be honest, and I've said this a million times, and I'm happy to say this, right? Women are more important than men. You guys are the creator energy. And if without the creator energy, man, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we do. Sure, we provide and we're physically stronger and blah, blah, blah in physical form. But like that creator energy is what's most important. And that's what's happening right now on this planet is the feminine creator energy is coming back into power. And the patriarchy and all of this like, you know, long term, you know, brainwashing that's gone on with, you know, the historical means in society, especially in the West is slowly dissolving and you're like you said, this is like the dark night of the soul for a lot of dudes if they're open to being in that frequency. Yes, and you know, what you were just talking about is, um, I actually differentiate between uh, the creative energy mass, the men and the masculine, energy, and we all have masculine and feminine within sure. us. And that's oh. from a tantric perspective, right? And so the, I, the hope is to be balanced in both. And there are times when one will be more dominant than the other, but it's because you, you need to have more yang energy at right. this time and more yin energy in this yes. time. Right. So it, again, you're playing on that polarity swing, that, that, that rope bridge of, you know, where do you want to be on, from the extremes, right? right. And, um, and so for me, and as I teach it, men have the creator energy, like the magician card in the tarot, it's the one, right? right? right. And then women or the empress at the manifestation right. energy. So when you want to create, you have to be in your fire masculine energy. But when you want to manifest, you need to be in your yin, sit the fuck back and chill the fuck out for a little bit energy, right? right? That's the feminine energy of love and compassion and magnetization and receptivity. That's how you manifest. You don't manifest when you're go, 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 do, 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 make, 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 make. That's going and doing. That's, you know, you know, Jesus is coming, look busy, right? That's what that sure. is. Sure. manifestation is when you sit back and say okay i've done this now i wait for the law of attraction law of karma and law of cause and effect which always work together and most people have never heard of the cause and effect law right you sit back and you wait for the energy you have sent out to come back to you yes. that is how you manifest that's, that's how cool. you manifest any fucking thing in your life that you want love sex money hopefully all in the yummy vibration of unconditional love and harmony and peace and all that you know, rah, rah, rah stuff. But creation is doing and going fire masculine energy 
manifestation is receptive, accepting the universe's um, gifts of all of that coming back to you. That's the energy coming back to you. And that's the feminine energy. And if you're really balanced, you, you can, you'll learn how to play in both of those. And um, it, it's fabulous once you actually get into that and realize, okay, I don't have to work more. Because if you know this, if working more worked, then single moms who work free jobs and take care of their kids would be the richest fucking people on the <laughs> earth. But they're not. They're some of the poorest, right? And, and those statistics get worse if you have more, uh, you know, color to your skin, right? So working harder, working more, do, do, go, go, go does not equal manifestation. Yes. That's let me create, but it, manifestation is sitting back. And so that's a big part of what I teach. How that relates to you, your life, your experiences, that's what I do in Tantra Fire Magic Coaching. Beautiful. I could talk to you all day. Um, for the purposes of ending this podcast shortly, I want to add one more bullet point, and then I'm going to have you come back because definitely we can go much deeper on some of your stuff. But like you wrote a book on um, men's sexual health, the foreskin. Yes, I knew you were going to say foreskin. Men as they were born to be. Now, this is a fascinating topic, and it's a whole podcast in itself, but just like in five minutes or so, like talk about that. Well, all males and all 5,416 species of mammals are born with a protective covering on the tip of their penis. Right. The glands penis, which is the little round bit at the top, yep. or, you know, you humans, um, in your human suit. <laughs> Right. That is an internal organ designed to be covered at all times by your foreskin, except when the foreskin and when you're a teenager or adult and it has retracted on its own to be movable, right? right. And, um, and so basically what I do is I am, a, as a foreskin fairy, I am a foreskin educator and foreskin I am <laughs> yeah, awesome. a foreskin fairy. And, um, and I teach about not only the anatomy, which is the bits and pieces, the parts of the foreskin, but also the function, which is the physiology of the foreskin. And then I go into the human rights aspect of not mutilating a newborn's uh, genitals and then the medical ethics of it and that kind of thing. And so this is, this uh, circumcision is one of the biggest matrices we have, especially when it comes to emasculating men, child sexual abuse, and uh, profit at whatever the fuck cost. I mean, that, you are right, that is a whole show that is what the book is about. The book is still in process. So if you have any intact, uncircumcised men over the age of 18 who would like to take the survey and be a part of the book, that is still an option. Just go to my website. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I, I'm, I'm interested in that. Um, I've always kind of understood the psycho, I mean, the psychosexual slash psycho spiritual component of removing the foreskin and how that was like a control mechanism and used as, you know, by elites and, uh, you know, various cultures over, over the centuries. So I'm, I'm fascinated uh, to learn more about that book. Woman, I could talk to you forever. <laughs> like this has been wow. Anytime, you know, I'm coming like, back. Oh no, I mean, my wife and I are going to come back on mine. <laughs> oh, of course. I mean, don't even don't even hesitate to ask me. I mean, I'd be honored. But like, uh, my wife and Thank I are you. definitely going to book. Definitely going to book a session. Just go to my. It's a, it's on my website, just trishcausey.com. On the front page, I have all of my current offerings, and you'll see tantric fire magic. Um. I'm phasing out of like single one-off one-on-ones, but if you wanted to, the two of y'all try it, or you just want to jump in because we can do some good stuff. Yeah, no, that's magic. pretty awesome. Um, okay, so um, so if people want to work with you, it's go to trishkazi.com, and obviously all of your socials. It's Trish Kazi official on Facebook, Trish Kazi official on YouTube, Trish Kazi on Instagram, and Trish Kazi on Twitter. Uh, I'm all over Twitter, so I will start pinging you on Twitter, and I'll 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 I'll, 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 I'll put a big uh, blurb out there and and promote your work. But uh, again, yeah, thank you. Very honored for you to come on here today. I mean, like I said, it's like tip of the iceberg type stuff. But we've been talking for about 44 minutes, which is like perfect. And you covered 44. Uh, yes, <laughs> you covered amazing stuff. And uh, again, I'm just very appreciative that I can find souls like yourself, and that you know we vibrated each other into our life. Let me just ask you as a final com comment, or your you know just a, as a prediction. And I know it's an opinion question for you, um, but where do you see us three to five years from now, from this moment? And obviously, let me just set the time. It's November 19th when we're doing this podcast. Um, I see that whatever is going on in the 3D is going to be a mirror of what is happening energetically. That's just the way it works. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, nothing manifests in the physical without it first existing energetically. So those of us, the more of us who can raise our vibration and learn how to keep it there, this is what I teach, keep right. it there, then it cannot help but to be manifest in the physical. This is what's hard. Remember what I said, manifestation is not doing, it's sitting the fuck back. Right. It's chill the fuck out. It's yeah. the seven of earth. It's seven of pentacles. You wait, yeah. you wait. We're doing the work. And at times we have to sit back and we have to wait for it to manifest because the physical realm is the realm of end results. You and I wanted this 20 years ago. We didn't know it. We didn't have words for it, but we right. did. Now we right. have words for it. So now we are more actively focused on how we do what we do. And yeah. we're doing this work. We're doing, 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 creating yang energy, fire, energy of transmutation, right? Tantric fire magic. That's, it's the transmutation of pain, shadows, wounding, victimhood, et cetera. And now in two or three years, 2022, 2024, it's going to be huge. I really do believe that's going to be huge for humanity, but we have to so get- So you're, pre you're predicting golden age, that by then we're in a golden age. The people, meaning the people of the higher vibration, the resonant frequency are in their own golden age. Do you see then, you know, people talk about a two earth split. So it's a bifurcation, you know, those who have raised their vibration. We're in that now. Yeah, we are in that now. That's what I mean. That's, I mean, and I feel yeah. that by the way, Trish, like when I go out in the morning and I do my meditation and my introspection and I'm with my dog and I'm silent, there's been times, and I'm not an astral traveler. I'm very familiar with it and, you know, read all the Monroe Institute books, but like I've literally floated out of my body and I'm like, whoa. So there is absolutely no doubt about it that that bifurcation between dimensional realities is here right now. I guess it's just, you know, my 3D brain wants a linear answer, right? And my 50 brain is just like, bro, just chill the fuck out. It's going to happen. Chill the fuck out, man. That's what, <laughs> that's it. That it's, it's, that, it's that seven of pinnacles card. It's just, we have done the work. Right. We have to sit back and wait for that to manifest. Meanwhile, we're going to keep doing our work. And the more work we keep doing, we will then be able to sit back and just manifest more and more and more. I don't know that we're going to have that experience that we all want, which is the crystal palace utopia right. and there is no financial money you know, blah right. blah blah you know because that right there it's like oh if i want to be in that kind of reality well now i'm hating money again exactly no 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 no. i'm gonna love the heck out of money right now because i want lots of it because i did not incarnate in this lifetime and put up with all the shit that right. i've had to in this lifetime to be spiritual artistic and poor right, <laughs> I'm right, not right. no i got anymore. you i i got you it's the i'm it's staying the up here no, but it's, it's the yeah, whole, yeah. like, I'm here, so I'm going to enjoy the ride. So yeah. you have to live in the third dimensional construct of money. And then I would like plenty of it, right? And, and, right. and, and I have enough to not only live abundantly myself, but also to give the people that I serve. And give I back can. and right. But it's also about one of the biggest lessons that we have in this lifetime is, can you love where you are in this moment can you love this moment can yes, you yes. can you love everything about this moment because if you can't that uncomfortableness is that trigger that you need that's showing you what you need to heal it is a mirror like when people say oh trigger warning i'm like oh fuck why are you doing that why are you like prefacing with a trigger warning because then people who would be triggered are going to be even more triggered just yeah. say what you have to say do what right. you have to do and then however people respond to that, that's on them. That's on them. You know, it's going to be a mirror to them of what they need to heal. So then whatever this moment is, can I love the heck out of it? Can I just be here and be in this moment and say, wow, whatever else is going on, I'm here at an amazing time. And I'm so grateful that I am here to be a part of this change. I am grateful for a roof over my head. And look, I was homeless in Los Angeles. We haven't even talked about that shit. You want to talk 3D? I got some 3D stuff. My car was stolen in San Francisco. So the car that I had been living in was, well, you talk about no way to go back. Right. You talk about dark night of the soul. I have been there here in the 3D. You have and to. And so it's like, uh, can you just love where you are? And that is how you get to the next step because that love, that's the energy you're putting out. So it, the universe has to bring it back to you. And that's the key to manifestation, right? So just love where you are, even when you know, everything around us is going crazy because we are multidimensional. And we, as long as we're in this physical human suit, 
we are still going to see, hear, and experience the 3D, but we don't have to react to it. We don't have to respond to it. We are responsible for how we respond, right? So I, they want to freak the hell that that's good. That's their experience. I'm over here living a great life. Beautiful. Because I manifested that. Yeah. So beautiful. So from my soul to your soul, I love you. I, I love you. you. I truly appreciate and your you. wife too. <laughs> no, listen, I truly appreciate you coming on my podcast. Um, you are an inspiration without question. You're going to help a lot of people. And I already know too, cause I've already manifested it, that this is going to bring you a bunch of uh, clientele and people that are going to say, Oh my God, I want to work with you. So again, thank you so much for all the people that watch my podcast, support the amazing beings who come on today like trish you can go to her website trishcosy.com find her on social at either trish Causey official or just trish Causey on instagram and twitter and remember raise your vibration to optimize your love creation we will see you guys very soon <laughs>